Today's class will be a little how-to guide on the manual settings for our DSLR cameras. The one I will be using for my example is this Canon Rebel XSI, which will be the DSLR that you have access to in class. We're going to want to go ahead and hit the on switch, which is located on the top right hand side of the camera. From there, your monitor shall come on. And right now, I'm set on the manual setting, which you can tell by the M down here. And also, on the option dial up here, the M is selected. This is the option we will be using in class, in this setting only. Manual screen. There are a few things you'll want to know in order to take a nice picture, depending on the lighting situations and other factors. So first, in the top left corner, is the shutter speed. Right now you can see it's set over 1 and 125th of a second. This is how fast your aperture will close. For slower settings, your aperture will close slowly. This is usually used for darker settings or trying to get things like an action blur. Higher settings or quicker aperture speeds, shutter speeds, might be 1 over 150th of a second. This is a fast aperture closing and is used for brighter situations as well as things like action stop. Right, located right next to the shutter speed is your f-stop. This will be telling you how wide or how open your aperture is, allowing more or less light into the camera. You can go between selecting each of these options by hitting this AV plus or minus button just right of the screen. That will allow you to select the box while changing the numbers with the dial located on the top. When changing your f-stop and shutter speed, the goal is to get your light meter or the timeline with numbers below the shutter speed to land in zero. Usually that will give you a pretty good basis to see whether you need to change your shutter speed or f-stop to allow or not allow more light in depending on the lighting situation. Oh.